Are you struggling to find a gift for that reader on your Christmas list? Well, it's Christmas Eve and I've composed a list of digital books that you can order from the comfort of your own home. So stay tuned because that list is coming up in about 16 seconds. I launched a video earlier today giving digital gift ideas for the writer on your Christmas list. And if you want to watch that video, you can click right here. And I'll also link it at the end of the video and in the video description below. But this time, I'm going to give you a list of ebooks that you can get for the reader on your list. So it's going to be a combination of fiction and nonfiction books. All of these books are available in ebook and or audiobook. I'll include the links for each one in the description below. Be sure to stick around to the end of the video because I do have a surprise for you at the very end. I only want to recommend books that I've read myself. So there's a number of books that I'm reading now, but I haven't finished. So I don't want to recommend those yet. Every book that I'm recommending is a clean read. So that means preferably no foul language at all, but there is one or two books that has a little bit of foul language and anything over and above that I will not be recommending. Let's get to it. So we've got The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. I just don't know if I'm pronouncing the last name right. I always thought I was and then found out recently it's pronounced a different way, I think. I had this read to me back when I was nine years old by my grade four teacher, Mr. Michael Jude, who was an exchange teacher from England. Mr. Jude, if you're watching, comment below. Let me know. If anyone's watching that knows him, please maybe let him know about this video because I've been trying to get in touch with that man for many, many years. He read this to us. I am in the process of rereading this in physical form as well as the audiobook going back and forth. Uh, Andy Serkis is reading the audiobook, which I think is really cool because he played Gollum, Gollum in the movie. Especially does well on Gollum's voice for obvious reasons. There's another couple books that are on my list that Mr. Jude read to us and that's Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and James and the Giant Peach. And I think he also introduced us to the Twits, which I had forgotten about. That's another good book that I'll link below. It's just a short little book, but it's funny. <laughs> Ronnie Ackard and the Brotherhood of Blades by A.C. Williams is another favorite of mine. I was introduced to this book back in May, I believe, just shortly after COVID started. A good friend of mine recommended I read this book. I read it as an ebook first and I absolutely loved it. I loved it so much I bought the paperback. Neverwhere by Neil Gaiman. It does have a little bit of vowel language in it, but nothing that you wouldn't hear on the bus or at the mall or something like that. It's very mild. I still recommend it and Star Wars Heir to the Empire. I'm currently rereading that, but I first read that when I was, I think I was like 20 or 21. We won't discuss how many years ago that was, but it's a really good book. Lightning by Dean Koontz was my first Dean Koontz book that I read. I read that back when I was 15 and I absolutely loved it and it was the launching pad for my adoration of all things Dean Koontz except for the Frankenstein series. I've already talked about that. <laughs> I will not go on about that again but every other book by him that I've read I have loved. Case in point the Christopher Snow series. It's a duology. Fear nothing and Seize the Night. Both amazing. Love the narrator for those books as well in the audio format. I've read them multiple times in physical format over the years and then I've listened to the audiobook a couple of times as well. Absolutely adore that series. Odd Thomas is another series. I don't have that up here with me and it's downstairs but I have that in audiobook as well. Odd Thomas is another amazing series by Dean Koontz. I keep waiting for a third book in Christopher Snow series. So Dean Koontz if you're watching book number three would be awesome. I would love that. There aren't a whole lot of nonfiction books that I can think of for readers. Most of the nonfiction books I read are for writers. Blogging for profit. Now that sounds like a writer thing and it is in a way, but I do know a lot of book lovers. A lot of book lovers start blogs reviewing their favorite books and giving their opinions and things like that. So this the reader on your list might want to do something like that. So this is a good nonfiction book for them. Also, there's a couple self-help books by Caroline Leaf. Switch off your brain and switch on your brain. Both really good books. So I've got a Starbucks drink here. And it's a it's pomegranate raspberry refresher or something like that. 
I'm hoping that the caffeine in that will get me talking faster because my East Coast, my East Coast-ness has me more laid back and I'm told that YouTube viewers like people to talk faster. So I'm trying, I really am. I'm just tripping over my words a lot. Every Morning the Way Home Gets Longer and Longer by Frederick Bachman. That's amazing as well. Very short, but it's a really, really good book. The Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society. If you want to hear my sister and I talk about that, you can click here. Anne of Green Gables, a classic, phenomenal book. Turtles in the Road by Rhonda Ray and Kaylee Ray. I love this book. I've read it multiple times. This and Off Script and Over Caffeinated. They're not available in audio, but they are available as ebooks. Authority in Prayer by Dutch Sheets. Messy to Meaningful by Monica Schmelter, Rhonda Ray, and Kaylee Ray. That same writing duo, along with Monica Schmelter, of course. Fixer Upper Christmas by Beth Duell and Rhonda Ray. Discerning the Voice of God by Priscilla Shire. Becoming a Prayer Warrior by Elizabeth Elves or Elvis. Intercessory Prayer by Dutch Sheets. Fervent by Priscilla Shire. Resolution for Women by Priscilla Shire. Are you sensing a theme here? Uh, Seeking Allah, Finding Jesus by Nabil Qureshi. Cold Case Christianity by J. Warner Wallace. Road Back to You by Ian Morgan Cron and Suzanne Stabile. That's all the books I have to suggest today. Oh, wait. Oh, I do have a couple others to suggest. Pride Be Damned and Good Samaritan, books one and two of the Toby Garrison Chronicles, as well as a short story called For Now, Toby Garrison Chronicles short story. And this is the surprise I was referring to at the beginning of this video. The digital format of both of these books and the short story are currently free on my website. And that's my Christmas gift to you. So from now until December 26th at 11.59 p.m., the digital format of all three of those books will be free on my website. So there's a gift that you can either gift to yourself or to the reader on your Christmas list. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and leave a comment below. Let me know what your favorite books are. Have a great day, stay happy, healthy, and safe, and have a very Merry Christmas. Bye-bye. Are you struggling to find a gift for the... The East Coast in me has a hard time talking fast. Okay. So it's Christmas Eve. Are you having trouble finding the perfect gift for that reader? Are you having... Are you having trouble finding the perfect... A Starbucks drink here. A refresher. Which... what I get for trying to keep it from taking off my makeup. Okay, that's not visible. All right, good. Okay, so if it looks like my chair moved at all, it did, because I had to get put the cat grass down for my baby. <laughs>